Would you like to get more money? Well, how about getting more money for doing absolutely nothing? Want to know about stocks that are now paying out even bigger dividends than they were before? Then you have to check out today's video. He is a best-selling author. 30-year-old Jason Fieber has a plan. This guy retired at only 33 years old. I don't know if I know too many people that have accomplished something like that. He's really kind of a guru when it comes to passive income. Before I get into today's content, please give us a big thumbs up if you find value in our videos. Helps us to get the word out and grow the channel, and I'd really appreciate it. I've been using the dividend growth investing strategy for more than a decade now. It has treated me exceptionally well. This strategy is all about investing in world-class businesses that pay reliable rising dividends to their shareholders. These are the companies that make the world go round, and in doing so, they make a lot of money. A lot of money which they share directly with their shareholders. Shareholders like us. While they collect ever more profit from selling what the world wants and needs, shareholders collect ever more dividends. All you have to do in order to collect those growing dividends is just continue to hold stock. It's that simple. Whereas getting pay raises from a job requires action on your part, Getting pay raises as a shareholder requires inaction. You just don't sell stock. That's so easy, even I can do it. Today, I wanna to tell you about five dividend growth stocks that just increased their dividends. Ready? Let's dig in. The first dividend increase I have to tell you about came from AbV Inc, stock ticker ABBV. AbV just increased their dividend by 8.5%. Like I said earlier, what's so beautiful about dividend growth investing is the fact that you get rewarded with more income through inaction rather than action. All AbV shareholders had to do in order to get an 8.5% boost in their passive dividend income is sit on their hands and not sell their shares. The biopharmaceutical giant has now increased their dividend for 10 consecutive years. That's as long as the track record could possibly be, as AbbVie was spun off from former parent company Abbott Laboratories in 2013. The five-year dividend growth rate is 18.5%, so maybe this most recent dividend increase looks a bit shabby in comparison. However, I don't think investors should expect that kind of double-digit dividend growth to persist forever. Even this 8.5% dividend bump is, in my view, very impressive, bordering on aggressive. Along with this kind of growth comes a stock's yield of 4.9%. That's a massive combination combination of yield and growth, and the payout ratio is 44.9% based on midpoint guidance for this fiscal year's adjusted earnings per share. I love the business and the stock, and the valuation here is actually pretty reasonable. I highlighted this stock as an undervalued long-term idea for dividend growth investors back in late September when the stock was trading hands for about $107 each. In that video, I estimated fair value at about $123 a share. The stock has gone on a bit of a run since that video came out, but it's still priced under my estimation of fair value. If your portfolio doesn't already have ABV in it, now would be a good time to question why. The second dividend increase we have to talk about came in from Black Hills Corp, stock ticker BKH. Black Hills just increased their dividend by 5.3%. Shareholders in Black Hills are now getting 5.3% more income than they were getting before. Don't you just love that? Everything is getting more expensive. We know this. But long-term, dividend growth investors are prepared for inflation when their dividend income is shooting up every single year like clockwork. This is the 51st consecutive year of dividend increases for the gas and electric utility. That makes them a dividend king, which is a special status reserved for stocks with at least 50 consecutive years of dividend increases. Talk about reliable. I mean, how much more evidence of reliability do you need than that? With a 3.7% yield and a 10-year dividend growth rate of 4.2%, it's a solid mix of yield and growth here on a stodgy, boring, necessary, highly reliable business model. Not much to complain about. And the payout ratio is a comfortable 61.5%. This stock has been a bit of a laggard, up only 8% this year, and I think it's a long-term opportunity. 
Every basic valuation metric indicates undervaluation on this dividend king. For instance, the 3.7% yield is 70 basis points higher than its own five-year average. The current price to earnings ratio of 16.7 is also well off of the stock's five-year average price to earnings ratio of 23.9. This under the radar utility business offers a lot to like here. Take a look at it. Another dividend increase I wanna share with you is the one that came from Fidelity National Financial Inc. stock ticker FNF. Fidelity National just increased their dividend by 10%. This isn't just a pay raise for doing nothing other than holding shares. It's a double digit pay raise. I don't know if I ever got a double digit pay raise from my day job back when I still had it, but if I did, I had to do a lot of hard work to get it. Let me just say being a shareholder is so much easier. This marks the 10th consecutive year of dividend increases for the title insurance company. If you think a 10% dividend increase is great, get ready to be really impressed. This 10% dividend increase follows up on the 11.1% dividend increase that was announced only last quarter. That's two double digit dividend increases in a row. The five year dividend growth rate is 16.5%, so they're keeping up appearances with this kind of activity. And the stock also yields a very appealing 3.5%. It's very rare to see this kind of yield and this kind of growth. Even after all of these dividend raises, the payout ratio is only 18. 0.8% because of incredibly strong earnings growth. The stock is up 32% year to date, but the valuation still looks attractive. I highlighted this stock back in April as a stock that I was personally buying for my own portfolio. I initiated my position in late March back when the stock was still around $40 a share. It's now blowing past $50 a share. Even so, a lot of metrics indicate cheapness. I'll give you an example. The price to cash flow ratio of 4.6 is less than half that of its own five-year average of 10.8. I'm a very happy shareholder. You might wanna consider joining me. Next up, let's talk about the dividend increase that came from Main Street Capital Corporation, stock ticker MAIN. Main Street Capital just increased their dividend by 2.4%. Main Street or Dividend Street? I can't tell the difference because this company is lining a street straight from its coffers to shareholders' pockets. Gotta love it, right? The business development company has increased their dividend for 11 consecutive years. As with Fidelity National, this is the second dividend increase this year for Main Street Capital. This follows up another 2.4% dividend increase announced in August, and the stock yields a market smashing 5.5%. Oh, and this dividend is paid monthly. Wait, there's more. Main Street Capital also declared a special dividend of 10 cents per share to go along with this most recent dividend increase. It's almost too good. And DNII per share is easily covering the monthly dividend with room to spare. This is a high yield, monthly paying dividend growth stock that is perfect for many long-term dividend growth investors. I've highlighted this stock so many times on the channel, I've kind of lost count at this point. In fact, I just included it in a video from last month in which I talked about three of the best monthly dividend growth stocks out there. That video goes over the valuation and why long-term dividend growth investors should own a slice of this BDC. The stock is up 46% this year, so it's had a nice run, but if you get a pullback, make sure it's on your radar. Last but not least, let's have a conversation about the dividend increase that was announced by Visa Inc. stock ticker V. Visa just increased their dividend by 17.2%. Sheesh, how can you not love that? Visa's tagline is everywhere you want to be, as in it's credit card. Well, this stock is everywhere I want to be. I can tell you that. And so is the dividend. This is the 14th consecutive year in which the financial services company has increased its dividend. Visa has been blowing the doors off with dividend growth since they first initiated their dividend. The 10-year dividend growth rate is an astounding 25%. Now, this is a long-term compounder, not an income play. That's why it's not surprising to see the yield at only 0.7%. But that's pretty much where the yield has been for as long as I've been watching Visa. And that goes back many years. Meantime, with a payout ratio of only 30.3%, you already know this dividend is headed higher over the coming years. This long-term compounder is up more than 800% over the last decade. It's the kind of stock you buy with the intention of basically holding forever. You put it in a drawer, forget about it, and let it slowly make you incredibly wealthy while you go about your life. It's that easy. With a price earnings ratio of over 40, nothing about this stock is cheap, but you could have said the same thing at pretty much any point over the last decade. And why would it be cheap? It's a phenomenal business. You don't get a diamond for the price of a cubic zirconia. It has pulled back of late though, so if it's not already on your radar or in your portfolio, 
take a good look at it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did, and let us know in the comments what you think about these dividend increases. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links, including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I've made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is and I'm often invested in the same high quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who have been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check the link in the description to see my portfolio and start getting my buy and sellers. I'll see you next time. <laughs>